about it. We need great yeah. practices, guys. We need guys showing up on time. We need guys getting treatment. We gotta, we gotta have everybody on deck for this one now. All right? We're gonna get back there late, get some rest, get in there, get some treatment. Let's go to work, okay? Let's go to work. Let's go. Let's go. Get down to Masaro. Let's go. Party yeah. 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 Matt, you have to be pleased. Big win on the road, but talk about the tempo. You practiced with it all week. Why did you feel like NASCAR was going to be so effective? Um, it, it, it's just something we've worked out throughout the entire week. Uh, coming into a tough environment, we knew we were able to communicate, but we also knew that we were going to be able to move the ball on these guys. So. Um, we did a great job moving up and down the field. I mean, like I've been saying for the past couple of weeks, Coach Fitzgerald and the staff doing such a good job of getting us in shape and keeping us in shape that you know, a lot of teams get tired out and we're able to keep pushing. Talk about the, the, the first touchdown drive. Pass to Kyle Carter, very nice catch, and then your play to Jesse James. Yeah, it was just a, a communication problem up front. Um, just rolled out, had to make a play, and, and found Jesse coming across the field. How important was it to get ahead early in an environment like this? Yeah, it's definitely tough when, when uh, you're, you're, you're on the road in a tough environment. You, you, it's kind of one of your main objectives to take the, take the opposing uh, team's fans out of it. And we were able to get an early lead, and they kind of just drifted away as the game went on. So yeah, more than 500 yards of total offense. What's that say about the growth of this group up front? Just shows we're getting more and more comfortable uh, with, with this offense. It's, it's, it's not where we should be at. We definitely have a lot of improvement left to do, but we're getting better. What do you feel like you excelled in tonight as a group? Obviously, something was clicking for 500 yards. What was it about the way you played? Um, like, I, like I said, it was just we, we had our, one of our best weeks of practice. I said it earlier in the week. Um, and as long as we continue to do that, continue to break us as a team, we're going to be tough to beat. You're heading home to Beaver Stadium, big crowd on Saturday, Ohio State. Thoughts on this week's leadership coach? Well, we definitely needed a big win here. Now we have some momentum going into uh, going into Ohio State. Uh, it's going to be the White House, so it's going to be an exciting atmosphere. What does it mean to do this here? You guys have not had a lot of luck in this building. What does it mean to get a win, big win here? It was real big. Um, you know, we haven't won here since I was in like second grade. <laughs> you know, so that's big. And uh, and the way we won it, it was it was huge for, for were you, us. Were you trying to make a statement? With the way you guys played today, um, we needed to. Just you know, I was had our number in the past past years. You know, um, since what ninety eight. So you know, we had to come out here and prove. You know, that it, it's over. When, when you're dominating a team like that, what is there a point in the game where where you know that you kind of have them and you know, that that you are dominating? Them? Um. Yeah, but no. In my mind, it's not over till it's over. Um, but you know, once you get into like the fourth four minute area, fourth quarter, you know, you're pretty good. You, you start to feel a little comfortable, but uh, you know, um, you know, as a leader, you just you don't want to let up. And, you know, just to see those two touchdowns going on the board, we were upset about that. I mean, you look at the score. More than 500 yards of total offense. What's that say about the growth of the offensive line up front? Uh, you know, I think that it starts with a great game plan by Coach O'Brien, and then Coach Max done a great job with us just keeping after us. We really just want to get better every game. So uh, the fact that we maybe were able to make some improvements since, since our uh, last game over the bye week, we were happy to see that, and we look forward to, to improving for next week. Being a senior, this has to be fun. Come to Iowa, get a, get a road win, you won five in a row. Things have to be fun right now. Yeah, yeah we'll definitely enjoy this one and, uh, you know, for 24 hours or whatever it is and certainly get back to work. You know, tomorrow, Monday, but uh, you know things are good, and we want to keep this momentum going. Bill, three touchdowns tonight, a big road win. It has to feel pretty good. Um, it feels great. You know, the, um, we came out here, played aggressive, and the offensive line did a great job today. So um, all the credit goes to them. And um, we got a team winning today, and it's definitely big. Just talk about practicing with the, the NASCAR mode all week, and then bringing it on the field tonight, and really being effective at that. Um, that was something that we kind of like game plan and. Um, Basically, we've been running it all year, so that definitely came in handy today. Um, we wore them out, and um, those are the things we were looking forward to doing early, like early on this week. So, you don't think you guys made a statement tonight? Well, I mean, from what everybody's been saying about us all year, we don't really pay attention to that. So, uh, you know, all we can all we can do is prepare for each and every game. One game, you know, we got how many now? We got five and one game season left. So. Um, you know, this is a position that we're in, so we're just trying to make the most of it. That's do you want do. to prove something to other, to other teams, to fan bases, to, to you know whatever the teams you still have to play the rest of the year? Or do you, do you want to prove something to them? Well, if we're proving anything, it's the fact that Penn State is not going anywhere. And Penn, not, I mean, there's no, I mean, 
you can you can do what you want to us. You can you can take away things from us. You can try to split us apart. It's not going to happen. It's guys out here that care about the program, care about the university, and, and care about each other, and, and just want to play good. For we want to just represent our university as, as best we can. So uh, I think we got a lot of guys that really just bought in what we're doing and, and our goals.